goals for the year? How are you today? I hope you are happy, fine, okay? Well, today, bye bye unit nine, hello unit, bye bye unit eight, hello unit nine. Holidays, it's a very nice topic, yes? Yeah? So, what you have to hand in today? You have to hand in uh, chapter seven and eight, the brainstorming, plus the three minutes video explaining those chapters, yes? Then we're going to, uh, today in class, we are going to go to vocabulary from de la A a la Z. Prepara tu cuadernito de vocabulario, el que te dije que armes, sí, de la A a la Z. Because we have many new words, yes? And then we're going to go to past perfect, pasado perfecto. Collocations, go abroad, book your holidays, stay at home, uh, all about holidays. Then we're going to revise adjectives and Adjectives ended in ed and ing, excited, exciting, and then we're going to revise subject questions, yes? Las que nos llevan W, auxiliar, sujeto y verbo. ¿Te acordás cuando hacemos ese ejercicio de make questions que está marcado A, B, C, que a algunos no les gustan, pero a otros sí? Bueno, acá vas a volver a revisar lo que ya sabíamos cuando preguntamos sobre el sujeto. Who, quién fue, quién pasó, yes? Who went to Miami? Who visited my house? What happened? Yo no digo what did, ha what did happen. What happened? Entonces vamos a tener el who más el verbo, el what más el verbo ya conjugado. What has happened? Yes, okay. Who uh, is going to go? Yes, directamente conjugar el verbo después del who, ¿sí? Porque yo no sé quién es el who, por eso estoy preguntando sobre el sujeto, okay? So, we are going to uh, put the dates on pages, yes? Class book, pages. One hundred and five, one hundred and six, one hundred and seven, one hundred and eight, and one hundred and nine from the class book. Is it clear? Yes, perfect, okay? so. Um, we are going to page 105. Let's start, okay? So, you have to look at the photo there. Yes, okay. And what do you think? How do you think these holidays are simi similar to his work in life? Yes, okay? Because, you know, uh, it says uh, Sol Tank is an explorer who studies snakes. Uh, this photo... This photo is in Micron, Micronesia, yes, okay, why, how do you think, in, in, in what ways um, uh, it is similar to his work in life, yes, or to holi his work in life uh, to, uh, and holidays, to holidays, why, well, I think because he's in the sea, uh, it might be a very, a very, very uh, nice place, of course, yes, okay, and apart from that, wait a minute, because I need another paper. Yes, apart from that, uh, he's swimming, he's diving, and uh, it might be amazing. Yes, a, a very nice place there. Yes, okay. He's doing a uh, water sport, so I think uh, it is similar to holidays. Because on holidays we go to, uh, we do water sports. Yeah, okay, sorry, I went. I needed uh, my keys. Okay, so, um, well, these are your answers. Yeah, these are your answers there. And in exercise two it says, we are going to listen to Sultan and two other people talking. What is similar about their working life and their holidays? And then we are going to listen again. And we're going to say which accommodation and activity does each person talk about. Yes. And I want you to highlight, que pongas todas estas palabras en el cuaderno de la A a la Z. Y que estén subrayadas, highlighted here in the book. Yes. And then we're going to go to these questions. Okay. Is it clear? So let's go. Acordate siempre que estas son a la par de la video class. Ok, ahí está. Video class, ok. Good. So let's go, 
let's go, let's go, let's go. There we are. Bum, 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 bum. How did it go at the weekend? What activities did you do? I was planning. I had a lot of work during the weekend, planning and correcting because we were out of plans, all the courses. Track 69. Ready? Unit 9 opener. One. My name is Zantan and I spend a lot of time traveling and studying snakes around the world, from the rainforests to the oceans. For me, my work and my holiday is the same thing. When I travel with my family and friends, I often go diving and looking for sea snakes. I've even kept sea snakes in the hotel bath. That's what I call a holiday. Two. My name's Greg, and I have a camping and caravan site in the south of England. Our busiest time is the summer, so I always have my holiday later, in the autumn. Because England can be cold later in the year, I put my tent in the car, drive to southern Europe, and go camping and hiking in the mountains. My friends think I'm a bit crazy. They think I should do something different for my holidays, but I love camping. 3. I'm Moira, and I'm a pilot for an international airline. People think my job is a good way to see the world. Sometimes I have a few hours in a city to go sightseeing, but usually I only see the airport and a hotel room. However, the good thing about my job is that I get a discount on flights, so when I have a holiday, I like flying back to some of the interesting cities I've been to and spending more time there. I also prefer to stay in bed and breakfast accommodation instead of hotels because I think you meet more of the local people that way. Okay, very interesting, very interesting, okay? I will explain what a B B B and B is, okay? But then I have many pictures for today. Okay, well, so um well, the photo shows in number one uh, a diver and a snake. He's a snake catcher, yeah. Uh, he's an explorer, so he travels to exciting, exotic pla ex places, locations, yes, to catch snakes. But uh, he probably goes on holiday to places where he can see snakes, okay. And then we number two, no, Sultan's working life, traveling and studying snake, yes, okay. And what does he do on holiday? looking for more snakes okay in number two greg's working life has own uh, a camping and a caravan site uh he goes on the caravan uh he goes camping uh to southern europe okay uh Morris is a pilot and uh, most of the time people say oh you are a pilot the good thing uh is that they have the, they get discounts in flights Yes, okay. And um, what else? Um, when she is, uh, when she, uh, you know, they have to um, fly to different places because she's an international pilot. But the, the majority of the time she uh, is at a hotel and uh, at a room in a hotel and at the airport. So from the hotel to the airport because they have to rest. And then the next day they fly again. But when she, have, when she has holidays, it is great because she has discount on um, the flights and she has more time to go sightseeing, yes, okay? Sometimes uh, when she is traveling, she has a short time and she goes sightseeing, but it's a, a very short period. But when she is on holiday, um, she gets discount on flights, so she goes to see, she travels to different places she uses her discounts and she prefers being in a bread and breakfast hotel, you know, I will go then to the picture, yes, I will finish here first, to a BB hotel rather than uh, a hotel, yes, okay, because she's more in contact with local people, yes, okay, well, uh, local people are people from the place, yes, okay, okay, los habitantes de ese lugar. Yes, okay. Um, 
Formoseños here and local people, yes, because they are from Formosa. Okay, uh, number one, when was your last, memorize this, when was your last, I want you to highlight bed and breakfast, camper van, caravan, hotel, tent, camping, clubbing, diving, hiking, sightseeing, skiing, and sunbathing. In the past, I used to sunbathe, yes, when I was very young, but then I started looking after my skin, yes, because you know, the sun rays are very, very dangerous, so you have to wear some uh, cream for protecting, yes, for protecting um, from uh, the sun, yes, is it clear? Well, uh, and we are going to go to the activities. Wait a minute. <coughs> okay. Good. Shall we go? Yes, okay. So be careful because we're going to um, um, go to many, many, many. And then you have to listen. I was thinking about this. Then you have to listen again. Yes. <coughs> Rewind the video. Sorry. And do exercise three. I will give you the answer. One, hotel, diving. Two, caravan, camping, tent, and hiking. And three, sightseeing, go sightseeing, hotel, bed, and breakfast. Yes, is it clear? Well, uh, I was saying that uh, one of my favorite act holidays activities were to sunbathe. But then, a long, a long time ago, more or less 50 years ago, uh, no, 15, no, 20 years ago, or 15 years ago, I um, stopped uh, sunbathing. You know, I lived very near, my apartment was uh, one block, yes, from the beach where I lived in Mallorca, yes. So, I could see the, I could see the beach, I could see the beach through my, uh, through the window from my apartment, yes. So I was very near, but why I, I didn't sunbathe? Because I was looking after my skin, because the sun rays are very, very, very dangerous. So what you have to use to protect yourself from uh, the sun is sunblock cream, yes? Okay, is it clear? Good. So let's go to the picture. I'm going to explain everything. That's why I always tell you, whenever I say, mirar la clase de vuelta, por favor, porque yo noto que no te ha quedado eh, claro algún, algún, alguna gramática, siempre te digo, mirar la clase de nuevo. Esta es la parte que, la que viene después de la autocorrección. Hoy no hubo autocorrección, ¿por qué? Porque no hay pages de tarea, no hubo pages de tarea, hubo chapters de uh, read the short story. ¿Está? Entonces, a esta es la parte que yo me refiero que mires, a la parte donde yo presento, a la parte del warm-up, ¿es it clear? Porque después de esta parte ya nos vamos a los ejercicios, ¿está? Del book, ¿es it clear? Good. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. you are ready. Well, that is a BB, uh, a bread and breakfast. A bread. <laughs> I'm thinking about bread. Okay. La dice está pensando en el pan. Bread and breakfast. Yes. Van a ver los cartelitos que dice B, ah, no me sale la E, la and esa. B and B. Bed and breakfast, and um, you know, it is not a hotel, but it's a bed and breakfast, yes, okay? Bed and breakfast, it means that you have, uh, you can sleep, and then in the morning you can have breakfast, yes? And uh, 
uh, the pilot from the listening said, I prefer a BB than a restaurant. Yes, okay, good. Then you have a camper van, when the other person uh, had a camper van, yes, and he went to Southern, uh, to a trip around Southern uh, Europe, yes, you know, this is a camper van, yes, okay, you have all the words from the unit, so pay attention, y ahora tendrías que estar ya poniendo todas las palabras en ese cuaderno de la A a la Z, porque ese va a ser tu cuaderno, que lo comenzamos, y al final del año, al finalizar las 12 unidades, vas a tener todas las palabras y no te vas a tener que enloquecer a última hora con el vocabulario, que es lo que más flojo tienen. ¿Está? Entonces, hay algunas personas que les cuesta más y a otras menos. Pero para solucionar ese problema, entonces, organiza esto. ¿Yes? Good. When you have a carbon, yes, you go. Many people have a carbon, yes, and it is more comfortable, yes. Uh, to uh, travel in a caravan, yes, okay, go clubbing, yes, okay, go clubbing, yes, go clubbing, but then I will go here, wait a minute, yes, because I want to go to the words first, yes, publications, well, I will go there, all the same, so you have a BB, Yes, a camper van, a caravan, go clubbing, yes, okay, go clubbing, what is go clubbing, yes, wait a minute, quiero buscarte otra fotito de caravan. Well, you know, yes, okay, bigger, yeah, bigger ones, yeah, okay, and they are very useful when you go on holidays, yes, okay, good, yes, all right, go clubbing, yes, you know, this is a street that is a very famous street, and when you go clubbing, You go here, you dance, you drink something, and then you go to the next one, and then you go to the next one. You dance here, but no, here is not very good. So let's go to the other. Yes, on holidays, last holidays, I went clubbing with my husband and my brother-in-law. It was great because we visited many clubs, yes, okay, and we had a very good moment. Is it clear? So go clubbing, yes. Then diving, go camping, yes. Of course, if you go camping, you have you need a tent, yes. Most things are a tent, but uh, in the picture, I wanted to show tent to revise this vocabulary. Yes, okay, go hiking, yes, that is a hotel. Oh my god, yes, but the pilot prefers. Yes, in the listening, she preferred, but uh, preferred um, a B and B rather than a hotel because you know they are paid to go to hotels between flights and flights. Yes, but she prefers when it when she is on her holidays a B and B because she can have uh, more contact with local people. Yes, okay. Go sightseeing. You have to double take a bus. Go skiing, sun base, yes. If you wear sunblock, it doesn't matter. You can be under the sun, but in the hours that are allowed, yes, when the sun is not very strong, yes, because the sun, uh, you need the rays, yes, vitamins from the sun. It's, ah, very nice. And then you have a BNB, yes. Estos son los típicos carteles que tiene un bed and breakfast en la entrada, yes, me encanta, I really like this, yes, okay, well, van camper, yes, vieron cómo está arreglada la van por adentro, genial, ahí te das cuenta cómo tiene todo, yes, 
and that's all. And I have more things, these were a specific vocabulary from the unit. But then we have the collocations, yes, okay? We have collocation, go, sightseeing, yes, check in, check in at the reception, yes, you check in, yes, at the reception, yes, Okay, uh, you can stay at a hotel, she's a receptionist, but you check in, see? I say, cuando entras, when you enter, the first day you arrive, you check in, and then you check out, yes? Check in and check out. Anotate, por favor, eh? Okay? Go abroad. Yes, okay, viajar al exterior. Yes, okay, and then you have uh, the hotel. Yes, the people at the hotel. You have the lobby or the bar. Yes, the bathroom. Yes, the reception. Yes, okay, you have the reception. Uh, the bedroom. Yes, the suite. La suite presidencial. Yes, and the lobby bar. Yes, oh my God, yes. What's a big problem? What's the problem with packing? Yes, pack and unpack. Yes, pack and unpack. Yes, is it clear? Unpack your bag or pack. In this case, she's packing. Yes, okay. Book your hotel, book your holidays. Yes, you book your holidays, yes, you can book your tickets, you can book your holidays, you can book a table, anda tomando nota por favor, porque esto es todo presentación de vocabulario en el de la A a la Z, yes, from A to Z, yes, book your holidays, uh, book tickets, book a table, yes, at a restaurant, book tickets for the cinema, reserva, yes, okay, and then you can give the waiter a tip. What is a tip? Yes? Cuando dejas propina. So you give somebody a tip. You give the waiter or the waitress at a restaurant the tip. Yes? Um, voy a give a tip to. Yes? Okay. Uh, no quiero perderme de ninguna. Yes, book your holidays, check in at the reception. Um, ah, rent a car. Yes, this is rent a car. Yes, you can rent a car. You can rent an apartment. Yes, is it clear? You can rent a car, you can rent an apartment. Yes, okay. Well, and then you have, my, you have this. You have 15, yes, 15. Um, 11, between 17 and 20 days holidays, yes, okay, you have 15 days holidays, 11 days holidays, or between 17 and 20 days holidays per year, yes, is it clear? Well, you can walk in the streets, yes, okay. Go camping, yes, the days, 30 days, holidays, you check in, stay at a hotel, yes, the, this is the reception desk, yes, the receptionist, oh my god, again, that is a big problem, yes, okay, unpack. Unpack your things, yes? So you pack your things, you pack your bag, or you unpack your bag, yes? Okay? Well. You can rent an apartment. Este era rent an apartment. This one, rent an apartment. Yes? Okay, rent a car, go sightseeing, go clubbing, yes? Um, I don't know what, ah, yes. 
Uh, this is um, book a table at a hotel. Yeah, at a, um, book a table at a restaurant. Yeah, so you can call. Yes, and book a table. And then the last questions with as regard picture. What problems? What are the problems you can have on holiday? And this is very interesting. You can, um, if you are driving your caravan, yes, you can be um, out of petrol, yes, okay. You can get lost. Okay, you can't find your bank. Yes, that is very, 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 uh, okay. You can find your bag at the airport. You get lost. Yes. When you go sightseeing, oh my God, the map. Yes. You miss the plane. Miss como extrañar, también es perder. Miss the plane. Rainy days. Every day, if you, if you, every day, if you travel for 15 days, the 15 days rainy, it happens in England. Oh my God. The awful hotel, yes, okay, the room of your hotel, yes, okay, the bed is very near from the, the shower, okay, you haven't got a window, yes, a very, uh, a window to look, it, to look through it, to look through it, yes, you can uh, breathe fresh air, yes, okay, many problems, I'm thinking about all these problems, yes, at home, top, Use the pictures again, rewind the videos, and talk about these pictures at home. Please, please, please. Now we can go to the book very quickly. Okay, one thing that is very important as regards um, adjectives, I am excited about the film. A person, my mother is excited, a person can be excited, yes, is it clear? Okay, and then a book or a film, atención acá, can be uh, exciting. Is it clear? So, entonces, fíjate, terminaciones ED, I am excited, Terminación es ING, a book or a film, yes, okay? And then you have the subject questions, yes, the subject questions, yes, las que comienzan con WH más el verbo conjugado. Por example, for example, who discovered America? What happened last year? Acá nos seguimos con W auxiliar sujeto y verbo. Directamente el verbo conjugado. What is happening? Who is coming? ¿Dice el cliente? Entonces pones el WH más el auxiliar. Entonces a eso se llama subject questions, ¿está? Que es lo que tiene que estar subrayado aquí. ¿Yes? How much does it cost? Esas son las normales, las que siguen el WH, WH auxiliar sujeto y verbo. Pero ahora estamos haciendo énfasis en lo que yo ya te enseñé cuando hacíamos las make questions, ¿está? También tiene que estar subrayado ED, ING, adjectives. Todo el vocabulario, ¿sí? Holidays collocation de la página 106, atención. Los problemas que pueden surgir en una holiday, ¿ves? Lo que ya presenté. Y el past perfect. ¿Cómo formamos el past perfect? Quiero que te hagas dos ejemplos, uno negative y otro positive, affirmative. I have been exciting excited all the afternoon until he came. ¿Quién he? Mi novio seguro. Ok, good. My boyfriend. Yes, ok. So, 
Entonces vamos a combinar un pasado perfecto que se forma con HAD más la tercera columna. HAD en todas las personas más la tercera columna. ¿Y cuál es la tercera columna de los verbos? Es el past participle. ¿Ok? Y combinamos obviamente con el pasado simple. ¿Está? I hadn't fixed, uh, I hadn't repaired my uh, computer, so my students didn't have a class, didn't have the class, the video class. Is it clear? Yes, that's all. Now we can go to the exercises very quickly. Yes, okay. There we are. Wait a minute. Today you have only pages from the activity book, no compositions, no anything in the classroom. Is it clear? Right. Good. So let's go very quickly to exercise one. Ya está todo hablado. The problems that you can have when you are on holidays. Rain, um, uh, couldn't find your bag at the airport, couldn't agree on what to do. Sometimes you have a lot of problems because you don't agree. What are we going to do this holidays? And then you have discussing, suppose. Uh, your your uncle, your uh, niece and niece and cousins want to travel together with you, but you know, agree yes with different families is a problem because sometimes it is difficult to agree in your uh, family with your mom, dad. Imagine with other two families. Okay, so we're going to do exercises two from page one hundred and six, three, five, and six. Two, three, five, and six. Holiday stories. Yes, you have to read this. Do exercise three, five, and four. Okay? Y ahí tiene las colocations. ¿Cuáles son las colocations? La que estuve diciendo. Yes? Travel abroad. Yes? Okay? Um, go abroad. Book your holidays. Go on a tour. Go clubbing. Stay at home. Stay at uh, a hotel. Um, stay out all night, stay at a hotel, check in at a reception. Todas esas palabritas se llaman colocation. Van juntas. No puedo decir check a hotel o um, a ver cuál se puede decir. Um, reserve a table. You say book a table. Yes. Book a ticket. Yes. Ok. También subrayado. Now is the time that you stop the video. I say the answers and then you listen to the answers. Stop the video, please. Okay. Exercise two. It was small and dark. It looked over the car. I look over. It looked over the car. Park. The shower didn't work. She gave a large tip to the manager and got a better room. Yes, because she gave a tip. That is another um, holiday collocation. Give somebody a tip. So she gave the manager a tip and she got a better room. Three, one E, two B, three A, four F, five G, six C, seven D, eight A, nine H. Exercise five, one, go abroad, book your holiday, stay at a hotel, check in at a reception, unpack your bag, or pack your bag, yes, um, call reception, give the waiter a tip, yes, okay, exercise six, number one, go on a tour, go climbing, go, di go diving, number two, stay at home, stay at a campsite, stay out all night, yes, okay, are you going to stay night? Are you going to stay out all night? Now your mother doesn't ask this question, but in the future she will. Are you going to stay out all night? Yes, okay. And then uh, book a flight, a ticket. Then uh, I have some visitors. That's why I'm, I am laughing. Number four, a car, an apartment, skis. So you can rent a car. You can rent um, uh, an apartment, you can rent um, skis, yes, when you go skiing. 
Yes, okay, and then you can get 20 days holidays per year, yeah? And, oh, 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 esta es la que me faltó también, um, get some birds. Es cuando te quemas y te tenés que poner mucha crema y el sol te mató. This is sunburn, yes, okay? Is it clear? Sunbase es tomar el sol, pero uh, get some birds, ¿sí? Bueno, o sea, cuando quieres decir perder, todo eso se llama perderse, todo eso se llama collocation, porque esas palabras van juntas. Get lost. I got lost. Me perdí. Yes. I got sunburned. Yes. Me quemé. Viste cuando ya está en primer grado que quemás. Yes. Okay. Once I got burned. Yes. Because uh, the sea, I, I traveled with my friends and I was very relaxed. I was very happy. Relaxed. I was very happy and uh, the day was amazed. Amazing. No, amazed. I was amazed. The day was amazing, uh, the sea was calm, calm, and then I fell asleep uh, near in the coast, you know, when in the beach, yes, and oh my god, then when I got up, I was red, I was, I got sunburned, okay? Well, uh, let's go to page 107, you are going to do exercise 9, from 107, exercise 9, yes, number 1, Happened. Acordate que el pasado perfecto. Voy atrás. Todos los tiempos perfectos van atrás en el pasado. Yo había estado um, infeliz hasta que él llegó. Yo había estado con hambre. Yo había estado hambrienta hasta que mi mamá me cocinó algo. Yes, ok. Bueno. Happened. Would. Run. Had run. Sorry. Three. Reported. Four had packed, seven had bought, six had left, seven had and eight had. De más está decir, vamos a hacer el ejercicio 10 también, que tenés que repasar los verbos si no te los acordás. Yes, because this is third year. You need to study by heart. Yes, ya sabes, haces repeticiones, te los grabas. O pegas post-it en tu habitación. Number 10. Had left, had an arrived, Went, haven't eaten, five, had lost, six, have, seven, gave, eight, had left. Left también es posible, ¿eh? Las dos posibilidades. Vamos a el, eh, la página 108 y 109. De la 108 vamos a hacer el listening. One, two, three, and four. Yes, y después vamos a hacer con las ed y ng adjectives. Ejercicio 5, 6 and 8. Yes, ok. Y de la página 109, from page 109, todos los cuadros, por favor, subrayados, vamos a hacer 10 and 11. Yes, ok. Good. Let's go. 1, 2, 3 and 4, from page 108, 5, 6 and 8. Yes. Let's go to the listening. Do you prefer traveling in a group or, or your, on your own? Mm, traveling, I prefer traveling uh, with people I know, uh, who I know very well, yes? But sometimes uh, traveling in a group can be a, diffi a, a, um, a difficulty or a disadvantage because you have to agree on everything. But if you... Um, uh, Say from the very first time, okay, we are going to travel, but I'm going to get up early. I'm going to go out from the hotel or the BB uh, or from the hostel at nine. And if you are not on nine, okay, you can go on your own. Yes, okay. So I think you have to set the rules from the very first moment. Yes, okay. And, um, Organize yourself because, for example, I don't travel. I don't like traveling with a group. Yes, because I like. Well, my family and I are used to getting up early, have breakfast, and go. Yes, because you know you have 15 days. Suppose you have 15 days in Europe, you are not going to sleep until 11. Yes, so really, I don't relax 
I don't sleep and stay lying every day when I go on holiday because I want to now that I am young. I don't know when I am 80, 60. Yes, I, I will be lax. But now, no. Uh, I am. We are. My family and I are used to getting up early, have breakfast, and go sightseeing, visit the different places, uh, going shopping, going to the beach. Yes, because we want to do all the activities we can. Yes, uh, when we are on holidays. Of course, then we return at where we we return the hotel and we are very tired. Yes. Okay. De esto tenés que hablar también vos solito ahí en casa, ¿sí? Porque esto sería todo lo que entra en el speaking de esta unidad. Track 73, Unit 9B. Ok, so you are going to listen to part of an interview about different kind of holiday, and then you have to answer the question. Then you will answer again with uh, the sentences from 1 to 5, because you are going to put true or false. If you need to rewind, you will rewind your video. Is it clear? Right. So, Madeleine, I know that you're very excited about your new job. What is it exactly? I'm going to be a tour guide for a travel company. Tour guide. Would you like to be a tour guide? If you want to be a tour guide, you must know at least three languages. Yes? Okay. Okay. Why do you want to be a tour guide? Well, I've always been in... At least I, I'm saying yes, but more than three languages because languages because you have in, you are in contact depending on the place where you are you will be in contact with tourists and tourists can be from everywhere interested in different countries why do you want to be a tour guide well i've always been interested in different countries and i've done a lot of independent travel last year i spent six months traveling on my own in south america so i know okay travel on my own. ¿Qué quiere decir travel on your own? Viajar por cuenta propia solo, yes? Yeah? So all about visiting new places. But going traveling on your own isn't the same as taking groups of tourists round famous cities or taking them from one hotel to another. Aren't you worried that it might be a bit boring for someone like you? Actually, it'll be fascinating because the tour company... Boring? Fascinating. Yes, you see the examples or ing adjectives. He specializes in adventure holidays. My first tour is very exciting. I'm leading a group to the Galapagos Archipelago, which is a place I've always wanted to visit. That sounds amazing. So, who books amazing. these types of holidays? They're usually people who are bored of traditional sightseeing and want something a bit different. So what can you do on the tours? Well, okay, so this is a different tour uh, for those who are bored with uh, the typical sightseeing. Yes, this is a different kind of um, tour. For example, on day one, we go walking along the coast and photographing plants and animals. Okay, walking, so you have to walk, and you take photos of animals, plants, nature. Animals. Day two is kayaking. Kayaking? So I have to organize and plan different group activities for every day. Yes. I see. How many people go on the tour? Usually eight. People often come on their own and make new friends. And if someone wants a day on their own, that's fine. I think the main thing is that they are never bored. No, it doesn't sound like they will be. One last question. How much does it cost? Uh, actually, I don't know the answer to that. Okay, well, she doesn't know yet because she's putting in order or her ideas, organizing the groups and everything. Yes, would you like to go there? I would like to go there. Because I am very active when I am when, when I travel, so I like walking, running, doing sports. And whenever I go to a hotel, I get up early. Um, before having breakfast, I wash my my face. I put on my uh, fitness equipment. Yes, my gym equipment, and I go to the gym of the hotel if if it has a gym, or I run. Yes, this is before my husband and my two daughters get up. 
and then we start. Yes. But I like um, I don't like uh, leaving uh, behind my routine because if I don't do exercises, you know, on holidays you eat a lot and you have uh, um, uh, you don't keep fit and then instead of losing weight you gain weight. Yes. Okay. Well, so let's go to um, exercise three and two. Madeleine is going to be a tour guide for a travel company. Two, she's responsible for taking groups of tourists on an adventure holiday. Yes, okay. She has to, to organize and plan, and plan sorry, different groups of activities for every day. Number one, false. Number two, true. Number three, true. Number four, false. Number five, pose, okay? Uh, exercise five, six, and eight. Now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Five, excited. Yes? Two, exciting. Yes? Okay, and then you have described a person, feel excited. Adjective describe person, thing, or place. Yes, exciting. Yes, a place or a thing. Adjectives uh, in all the script also involved in a all the square. Okay, exciting, interested, lo que yo iba nombrando, worried, boring, fascinating, amazing, uh, and bored. Yes, okay, exercise six. Are you there? Good. Number one, amazing. Number two, bored. Number three, Fascinating. El lugar como era, fascinante. Number four, number four. Interesting. Yes. Number five, frightening. Number six, worried. Number seven, annoyed. Number seven, annoyed. Who was annoyed? And tired. Yes, okay. And saying he was tired, you know, a person is tired, and a thing, el viaje era tiring. ¿Quedó claro eso? Bueno, vamos al ejercicio 10 y 11 y ya te dejo libre. Stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Number one, study. Did you stay? Acá queremos saber cuántos días. Vos estuviste, o sea que ahí auxiliar, sujeto y verbo. Painted. ¿Quién pintó? ¿Qué artista? Four. Did you leave? Five. Happened. No creo que hayas tenido problema en este ejercicio, ¿eh? Should. I visit. Can help. Did you take? Eleven. Are you going to listen and complete? Track 75, Unit 9B. Okay, so first of all, how much money do we want to spend this year? How much money do we want to spend? How much do, auxiliar, we, sujeto, want to spend birds? Much? It needs to be cheap. How about going camping? Good idea. Who wants to go camping? Who wants? ¿Quién quiere? Who wants? Conjugar ese verbo presente simple. Estando, so the first thing, uh, when you are going to, when you, you are discussing about holidays is how much money do you want to spend? Who wants to uh, do the different activities? Who wants to go camping? Who wants to go hiking? Yes? Only if we can go somewhere hot. But we'll have to fly to go somewhere hot. And flying is expensive. Who has a car? Who has a car? We could drive somewhere with the tents. That's cheaper than flying. Mm -hmm. I could probably borrow my brother's car. I drove to Spain last summer. It was really hot. Which cities did you visit? Which cities did auxiliar you sujeto visit verbo? In Barcelona and Madrid. Wow. I don't mind going again. Great. How many people agree with going to Spain? Okay, and then how many people agree? Yes, agree with. Okay. Bueno, y en el 12 dice, esto está buenísimo para cuando nos reencontremos. 
They say, imagine you have won certain money, yes, from a travel magazine to spend on a group holiday lasting uh, a week, one week, yes. And then you have to ask, hacelo solo en casa, your partner, what type of holiday could you like to choose? What type of holiday do you want to go on? Uh, where would you stay? At the hotel, at the hostel, at the BB, yes, at the be be bed and breakfast, yes, no bread, <laughs> bed and breakfast, yes, and what type of activities you are going to do? Are you going to stay there, just some bathing, lying on the sun, or you are going to be more active, going hiking, going sightseeing, going canoeing, some bay, uh, uh, um, you know, kayaking, yes, okay, hiking, kayaking, yes uh and that's all yes and plan yes plan your holidays and then we are going to talk about that yes okay well homework pages 68 69 70 and 71 only the exercises that are in brackets bye bye third year see you next class please study highlight everything yes and do your homework see you bye bye have a nice day.